booster ignition and liftoff of the space. Space launches are arguably one of the heights of human scientific achievement. Despite this high level of accomplishment, engineers continue to deal with catastrophic failures on the road to each success. Most rocket launches fail at the initial liftoff when fuel is first ignited. Igniting these fuels produces a tremendous amount of gas at incredible velocities, which, if not precisely directed and released, can end up destroying the rocket itself. Despite stringent engineering parameters and rigorous testing of the individual components, it doesn't necessarily guarantee success, but just minimizes failures. The same cannot be said of the Bombardier Beetle. This little arthropod has the ability to create explosions as well, but unlike man-made spaceships, which can be rebuilt to try again, it has no margin for error. Just like human spaceships, the Bombardier Beetle carries fuel that it can ignite to produce high-pressure gas and steam. It does this by combining two inert chemicals with a catalyst whenever the beetle feels threatened by a predator. However, the Bombardier Beetle also suffers from the same weakness as spaceships because of the volatility of the fuel stored within. When combined, an explosion will occur regardless if it's accidentally inside the beetle or intentionally outside the beetle. All it takes is one mistake and the beetle dies. No second chances. How does the Bombardier Beetle do this? Well, it houses a sophisticated plumbing system inside complete with a unique valve system. You see, when the combustion chamber is empty at atmospheric pressure, it allows the inlet tube to open so that fuel can enter the chamber, while the outlet or exit tube is closed by the membrane blocking the bottom part of the tube. Once the fuel starts to react and pressurizes the chamber, which is shaped like a claw, it pinches the inlet tube shut. As the fuel continues to react, producing heat and pressure, the bottom membrane is forced open, allowing the mixture of gas, chemicals, and heat to escape at over 100 degrees Celsius. I know what you're thinking. How does all this generated heat not cook this beetle from the inside out? Well, the chamber where all these reactions occur is lined with a special heat-resistant material protecting the beetle's other internal organs. The unique design of the exit valve results in not one single explosion, but a pulsating spray of up to 500 shots per second. And it's a good thing too, because a single large explosion would knock the beetle off its feet every time it would fire. A continuous spray distributes the force evenly so the beetle can stay on its feet. Interesting enough, this pulsating combustion technology was also used by Nazi Germany in World War II as a propulsion system for their V-1 flying bomb. According to the theory of evolution, the Bombardier Beetle evolved one piece at a time over millions of years. This doesn't make any sense because without every component of the Beetle's defense system operating at the same time, from the production of the fuel to the unique valve system, the heat-resistant lining, the precise firing nozzles, just to name a few, we would have spaceship-level catastrophic failures. And even an evolutionist would agree, bug guts cannot evolve. No second chances. There are so many carefully designed features in the Bombardier Beetle that are irreducibly complex. This points towards an intentional design created by a omnipotent and wise engineer.